All right, welcome back. We have spider rust here, and we're going to be talking about some special angles, especially one of these angles right here around the center of that web. Okay, let's get right into it. So, first thing, I want you to pause the video and use your knowledge to find X and Y. Go ahead, pause it. I said pause it. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you paused it. Let's take a look at this. I see a straight angle here, so I know that Y plus 103 equals 180 degrees because there's 180 degrees in a straight angle. I also see another one right here. X plus 18 equals 180 degrees. So I could subtract 103 over here and I would find that that was 77 degrees. I would subtract 18 and then I would find that that's 162 degrees. All right, that's just stuff we've known from this unit. We know that a straight line has 180 degrees. All right, so how many degrees do you think there will be around one common point? So like this is a common point. How many degrees around here? Well, let's, let's add them up. 103 plus 77 plus 162 plus 18. Well, that's 180 plus 180. That's 360 degrees. That is a big new special angle. Anytime we have one point, there's going to be 360 degrees around that one point. Okay, let's use that knowledge right now and let's solve this picture here. Let me, excuse me, spider breast. Let's solve X right here. Okay, so let's see what we have. We have several angles here. I'm going to add them all up. I got 52 plus 62 plus 88 plus 55 plus x equals 360. So I'm going to add all those numbers up and I get beep, boop, 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 258 plus x equals 360. Hope you like my sound effects. I really want to calculate that makes those sounds. I'm going to subtract 258 from both sides. Because what we do to one, we got to do the other. And I find that that one angle there, that X, is going to be 102 degrees. All right? So again, anywhere you have one point, you can have 360 total degrees around it. That's a big one. All right, let's solve for X, Y, and Z in this picture. It shouldn't be that difficult, right? I know that right here we have 180 degrees because that's a straight angle. So that means 30 plus X equals 180 if I subtract 30, I know that X is 150 degrees. So if this is 150, I know this is going to be a straight angle. So I know that 150 plus Y equals 180 degrees. So Y is going to equal 30 degrees. Well, that's interesting. And if this is 30 degrees, I know that 30 degrees plus Z equals 180. Subtract uh, 30, so Z is going to be 50 degrees. Ah, oh, very interesting. So let's let's put those on the thing right there, though. Um, so this was 30, this was 150, and this was 150. So what pattern do you notice? Hopefully it's pretty obvious to you, but to me, when the angles are right across from each other here, they are the same. So they kind of have this X, and these angles right across from each other actually are the same. Let's see here. What do you think, spider breast? Yep. In fact, those are called vertical angles. They're very special and they're very, very common and powerful. So any angles that are opposite each other when two lines cross. So these two lines cross, these two angles are opposite each other. They are congruent. That means they are the same. They are equivalent, okay? So if I had two lines like this, and I told you that this was 20, you would know that this was 20. Boom. All right. Very convenient. Okay. Very convenient. Let's try some. We're going to solve for X and Y here. So I am going to solve for Y first because that's a straight angle. That's something I know. So 30 plus Y equals 180. Subtract 30. So Y is 150 degrees. All right, now I notice that 3x minus 15 and 30 degrees are opposite each other. They are vertical angles, so I now know that they are congruent. They are equivalent, so I'm going to set them equal. 
I'm going to add 15 to both sides. So I know that 3x equals 45. Divide by 3. And x equals 15 degrees. Very powerful. All right. Looks like Spider Bruss is hanging on for his life here. Let's go over here and see what we got. All right. This one looks really hard to me. But I don't think it is. I think sometimes we see a lot of stuff and it's overwhelming. But let's just take it one thing at a time. I know right now that's a straight line. So I know that 51 plus y equals 180 degrees. So I'm going to subtract 51 from both sides. And now I know that y equals 129 degrees. All right, so that's one thing. All right. Now I see a lot of stuff down here, but I'm not sure. I know right now, though, that 51 degrees and 3x degrees, they're opposite each other when I have two lines intersecting. So they're congruent because they're vertical angles. So 51 equals 3x. I'm going to divide by 3. So x equals 17 degrees. All right, so let's label a few things. I know this is 3x or 51 degrees. The reason I say this is now I have three angles in a triangle, right? Well, if you remember, three angles in a triangle form 180 degrees. All right, so now I can add 51 and 67 together. I get 118. Subtract 118, and I get 62 degrees. So in the end, it wasn't terribly difficult. There was a lot of stuff to find. And I recommend when you get to problems like this, you just do one step at a time. Find what you can first and move on. All right. I want you to pause the video and try these two problems on your own. Okay, the first one over here, 43 and 2x minus 17, they're vertical angles. They're opposite each other. So I set them equal to each other. So 43 equals 2x minus 17. Added 17, I got 60 equals 2x. Then I divided by 2 and I got 30. Over here we have 1 point. So I can add all these up to equal 360 because there's 360 degrees around 1 point. Now I'd like to point out something. 75 and 3x they're not vertical angles because they don't have actually two straight lines this line curves all right if the lines were actually straight then they'd be vertical but they're not so i have to add these all up equal 360 i combined like terms i subtracted 210 and then i divided by 5 to get 30. i really like 30 i guess as an answer all right i hope you enjoyed the the uh, special angles just remember Spider Bros, and he can help you out and solve any of these that you want. Um, good luck finishing up th this this unit, and I can't wait to see you guys next time.